Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's your host Cage again for another video of Persona 5 Royal. In our last video, we finally found we finally found a route to secure the treasure. Uh, we're about to head into the palace today, get this mission dealt with, have some time to spare, and hopefully uh, by the time this is dealt with, we'll be able to um what is I about to say? Uh, do some other things on this channel. But before but let's get started on it. So the play that this Czech playwright wrote. What do you think of the Phantom Thieves? Are they gonna... What, what do you think the Phantom Thieves are gonna do about Okuma? It's an important work of history, of literature, for being the first to use the word robot. On, you Phantom thieves. Duh. Make him have a change of heart. These corrupt corporations should just go bankrupt. Quiet down. Hey, you're in class right now. Quit talking about Okuma and the Phantom Thieves. Jeez. Kuruza-kun, you were listening at least, right? This Robot comes from the from the word in Czech, but where in Europe is the Czech Republic located? Ooh, y'all, I don't know. Southwest Europe? Hmm. Hmm. Ah! In the country around the center of Europe. Was that question a bit too hard? The word robot comes from the Czech word robato. Robato actually means slave labor. Did the teacher mean to pick someone else? There are definitely people who would have gotten that right. Yeah, right. Existing only for slave labor, even from the origin of their name, robots are pitiful. Well, you could argue we're not, we're not too different ourselves, having to keep working in order to live. Kawakami seems tired. But anyhow, if Okuma doesn't see others as people, we need to change his heart. All right then. Now nah, that's I should have gotten that better, but let's go ahead. Ooh. Ooh. I really want to talk to him, but we're going to infiltrate the palace today. Let's go right away. Thanks for inviting me. All right, let's do this. No problem, Haru. Oh, I'm the first one here. Oh wait, is this she wants to do some of the wheel seat? Is yep. this a wheel seat moment? I all beat. I see. Actually, this may have been a stroke of good luck. <gasps> There's something that I want to discuss with you. A special showtime attack. It's got to be it, right? Mm -hmm. It's got to be a showtime attack. That's What's what it's got to be. <laughs> I want to see it. I've been thinking I want to be more helpful to the Phantom Thieves. So I came up with a new approach to fighting in hopes of making it a regular strategy in our battle. It is. It's a showtime. Okay, girl, what you got for me? But I need your help to make it happen, Monachan. Ah, so it's Morgana. Now that I think about it, Joker doesn't have a showtime attack. That's kind of weird. Oh, <laughs> me, eh? Yeah, let's... Well, if you need me, then who am I to turn you down? Oh, is this the one I saw from the trailer? From Persona 5 Royals a long time ago? Is this it? Thank you. So, I'll get right to it. What I'm thinking is... And that's how it goes. And that's how we finish. Ah, I was close enough. <laughs> I was close enough. Okay. Haru? Sometimes the stuff you come up with honestly scares me. Good scare or bad scare? Because there's a difference between the two. Absolutely fine if you don't want to. Not another word. I'll do it. You deserve only the grandest of performances. All right. Great. Thank you, Mona-chan. I wonder if the star will grant us our wish. Hopefully so. Oh, look at that. All right. Morgaru, Morgana and Haru's showtime has been unlocked. All right then, girl. I'm counting on you. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot because of how good Haru is at fighting. But she's new to the team, right? Shouldn't we do what we did for Yusuke and Makoto? Yeah, should we? Ah, you mean the Phantom Thief basic training? There's much we need to teach her. True. She barely knew how to summon her persona, let alone how to uh, fight with it. 
So we do have to teach her some stuff. Please do. Oh, someone's excited. Then again, I already told her the gist of things. True, you told her the gist of it, but did she do the gist of it? Telling her and ha having her do it is a two is two different things. What other stuff should we talk about? It's one thing to talk about. It's another thing to show her. It's no, it's one thing to talk about doing it. It's another thing to actually see if she can do it. Like you can teach me how to cook, but that's not gonna let me, that I won't. That's not gonna fully teach me. Uh, show me if I can do it or not. That's up to oh, my skill. About how we defeated my fiance in there. Will that have any effect on my father? N probably. No, more than likely no. They did something similar in my palace, but I'm perfectly fine. Perfectly fine is questionable for you, Futaba. Uh, is that so? But man, that cognitive person stuff is crazy. He was so similar that even Haru couldn't tell. Yep. That might have just been a coincidence. Usually, cognitive people look totally different. The version of me in Kamoshida's castle was terrible. It kind of looked a little similar to you, though. Uh, and the version of me at the museum was a painting, not even a person. Now that you mention it, why isn't there a cognitive version of me? Is it somewhere in there? Now that you think about that, it is true. Where is she? Well, I could imagine a couple of reasons why we haven't seen it, but I don't think you'd like them. One of them is that you probably are caged up in a certain lockdown cell. Others is that you may not even be real, or the third one is that you've possibly already been killed. Hmm. He like he sacrificed you already for his political gain. Come on, don't think about that dark stuff. Anyways, if a dude's cognition can change the scenery or even the people in the palace, couldn't you use that to make a dream world filled with places and people you love? Could be, but the problem is, is that a cognitive world isn't real, and if you fantasize, and that's not going to be a good thing for your psyche. Man, palaces are super promising. My greatest hopes and dreams might still come true. Well, that's kind of impossible this time, <laughs> but maybe we should try in the future. Maybe. That does sound a bit fun. In any case, if Haru followed that conversation. There's nothing else we need to teach her. Possibly, but we still gotta see if she can do it, though. But that's another thing entirely. Alright, time to send out the calling card. Alright, let's do this. We will entrust this to you, Haru. Okay. I placed this in my father's study, and the treasure will appear, correct? Right. If he notices the calling card, then yes. Are you afraid of doing this to your own father? To be honest, a little. Try to recall your anger. It will guide you in the right direction. And anger could help out in this situation. I don't always I don't always agree on leading in on your emotions, but it does help out quite a bit sometimes. So we're carrying out this plan tomorrow? That's right. All right. No staying up late tonight then. That especially for you, Ryuji, you need to hear this more than anyone else. We can laugh or cry all we want, but we only get one shot at this. Everyone, I'm counting on you. All right, then let's head off to bed, then. Nice. I see. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sir Kunikazu Okumura, the great profiteering sinner of greed. 
Your success and global fame exists due to the tyranny you reign over your employees. Thus, we have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. Uh-oh. <laughs> From the Phantom Thieves. Oh, no. I must take care of this before it becomes a problem. I've received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. I need you to send it over to the police. Don't make me repeat myself. Give it to the police. That's an order. Oh, he's going. He's he's not taking this as a joke. He's immediately going after this. These scoundrels have threatened me. Aren't the police supposed to side with law-abiding citizens? That includes. They have to be following the law for them to follow you, though. I will not fail. This matter is urgent. Take care of it at once. I need to let everyone know about this. Oh, he's taking this right from the start. Wait, he even figured out when we're gonna do it? Whoa. This is different from normal. Oh yeah, it is. We've already caught the nation's attention here. There's no way he's gonna take this lightly. He has some nerve delivering the calling card to the police himself. Either he's certain his heart won't be changed, or he's colluded with the police from the beginning. As strange as it is for me to say, I could see that being the case. Yeah, it's already he's already in police's pockets, so that would make that would be surprising. Oh, the Phantom thieves. I don't care what the phantom thieves do as long as they show up, haha. -ha. Just do it quick, lol. They're just saying whatever they want. It's nothing more than a game to them. At this point, all they care about is seeing those in power beg for forgiveness. Hmm. Damn it, this isn't a game. Really, hey, we're playing. This is someone's life in danger we're trying to deal with here. The means and the ends have been reversed. We're starting to be seen purely as entertainment. Yep. Like I, I, I said this, I don't know if I, I said this before, but I don't think it was on this uh, server, but I think it was somewhere else. If you want to see the, if you want to see if people are truly just and moral, give them power and control. If you want to see them, if they'll do the right thing, don't give them punishment. It will see if they'll truly uh, do what's the right thing to do, or if they'll do it because they fear of what's the, what happens if they do the wrong thing. But basically, if you think the victims are truly victims, see what happens if you give them power. You'll see them in a whole different light. They won't be the same people as before. You think that these folks here are, oh, they're innocent. They are, they're just. Nah, these folks are just the ones who ain't got the who ain't got the gun in their hand. If they had the gun in their hand, they'd be doing just as bad as the other people are. And we're starting to see those in we're starting to see these folks. These aren't the ones even in power. These aren't even the ones in power and they're already showing their true colors. This that's what's effed up. But we got to do this. We can't just drop everything now. No, we really can't, but we're going to have to figure something out, because this is going out of hand fast. Considering the existence of the palace, his desires are indeed distorted. You just realize he ain't the only one. The mass media seems to be distorted in a sense, too. In a sense, the earlier we pull the root, the better. And given the issue concerning Haru's fiance, we don't have another choice in the matter. True. But it still feels like we're leading towards a trap. Don't, then everything we've been doing up until now would just be for nothing. I mean, not wrong, but at the same time, we're ignoring these factors that are playing out here, and that's very dangerous. I believe this is best too. After hearing my father speak, I saw no remorse in him. Ryuji and Haru are right. Honestly, Everything the public is talking about does bother me a little. More than a little for me. This is red flag warnings everywhere. But Okumura may just be the one behind the mental collapses. We can't leave this be. It's hard to say that when we haven't seen any evidence about him, even in his palace. I want to know about this truth. I feel like he's hiding something. 
something big. Hold up. True. And we already sent the calling card after all. Let's do this like we always do. And steal his palace's treasure. Alright. This is definitely not normal, but we're gonna have to go in here and because we got no other ch options right now. Let's do this. Let's see what we got.